Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Eric with Rosie Research and we are working on a breadboard circuits tutorial. I'm using an Arduino Uno or an Elegoo Uno from our starter kit and I've got the shield on top of it. Today we are going to make a Harry Potter theme song playing device. And in our Tinkercad circuits tutorial we used a motion detector and I realized that wasn't actually in our basic starter kit. So I'm going to show you guys how to wire it up with a little press button that you can use to sneakily press where it's going to go and then it'll still start it and it'll feel like magic which will be kind of great. The other thing I can show you is how to add it with a tilt sensor instead. So let's get started. The wiring is pretty simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add in our piezo buzzer. Now these piezo buzzers, if you look really closely, they have a little plus sign on one side and not on the other. And so you want to make sure you know where your plus pin is because that is what's going to need to go into the Arduino and the other one will go into ground. All right, so I'm going to put this sort of up over here on the side. My plus pin is right here on the very edge, on the very corner. This is the column with my plus pin and this will be the column with my negative pin. Then we're going to wire that negative pin into ground. So you can take a little wiring item from there and you're going to put it into ground. This one's really, really close. So it goes right there into the ground. And the Arduino it will go into Arduino from our positive pin, so from this column right here. You can plug that in. And it's going to go into pin number two. So start counting at zero. Zero, one, two. And you can always check on that side piece because they have that beautiful silk screening. All right, so that is wired in. Now, if you were going to do it with a motion detector, this is how we would wire in the motion detector. We are going to put a little button instead, but we're going to wire it very similarly to that motion detector. So we're going to put one piece of it to ground. And I can use actually a really tiny jumper for that because I have a ground rail right next door. So here is a ground rail on my Arduino. You can see that by the G and D right here. So all five of these pins go to ground. All of these ones go to five volts. So I can put this guy to ground and then I can put the other side to five volts. I'm going to use a different one just like this. All right, so this button is wired in and I would put from the ground to my Arduino the same way as that motion detector is. So from the ground and it goes into the Arduino on pin three. All right, and the only thing we'll need is slightly different code, but that will be okay. I'll show you how we can change that. All right, so over in Arduino, we have a little bit of code that sort of comes up normally. You can copy that and delete all of it. And then you're going to take our code from our Tinkercad circuits tutorial. Oops, not that code. Let me copy this over again. We'll delete that. Paste in the code from our Tinkercad circuits tutorial for our magical music. This is what defines all of the notes and it plays the music in the right order. So you can see we have a ton of definitions. We showed you how to find something like this online, which is pretty great. Um, in fact, and I'm looking at it and we have pin width three as input. Three is where our button is. And we said when three is high. So even by replacing the button, we don't actually need to change any of the code for this, which is pretty great. And so this, when we upload it, when we press the button, it will play the music for us. All right, so I have the code uploaded, but when I press this button, it sort of restarts everything. And I'm realizing that's because we just connected it straight to ground. So to fix this, I'm gonna pull this guy out and I'm going to take out this little piece to ground and I'm going to replace it with a resistor. All right, so I'm just going to go from a resistor to ground instead of a straight wire to ground and I'll plug this one right back in to where it was. And then if I power this guy up and I press my button, I'll get my music. And if we let it keep going, it will play the whole song for us, which is kind of amazing. You can check out this code that we have over at um, Tinkercad 
our Tinkercad circuits tutorial or patreon.com slash Rosie Research. That code will be posted up there. And if you did it with a motion detector, it will be the same type of wiring as we just did, which is kind of amazing. It's easy to swap in and out. Same kind of code. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will see you guys for our next Breadboard Circus tutorial. Bye, friends. <laughs>